this year uh, we have more obstacles, um, same amount of distance. We've improved every single obstacle. We've actually made uh, not only safer, but more challenging. You're gonna see a lot of the obstacles from last year morphed into something totally different and totally new. So we've doubled the amount of zip lines we have. We have a total of four zip lines now, and we've doubled the length of the zip line. We've also uh, changed the landing a little different from, from prior years. So it seems like every obstacle we've modified just a little bit, so it's something a little bit newer than it was last year. We're gonna have uh, Ultra Star offering uh, beer this year, so we got a request for a beer tent. So we're gonna have that for the people that like to engage in drinking some beer. And we're gonna have a couple food vendors, uh, some great music, and a huge area to, to watch and observe. Our course, the, the contestants will be competing, but the observers can come and watch them do every single obstacle. So just drop right into the water. There'll be tons of water, tons of water, and tons of mud. This whole trail will, uh, will be etched in the, the dirt with the mud. We'll be running through mud this entire time. One other thing, one of the new things we've entered this year was is the youth run also. So we have oh, yeah. a we have a special designed obstacle course for the four to seven year olds and eight to eleven year olds, um, modifying some of the adult obstacles with, with a youth course. We offer a wide variety of ability levels and conditioning levels on our course, which other places wouldn't necessarily care, but because we're a city event we have to take into account all the citizens' conditioning uh, when designing this event. The entry fees are right now, if you join, it's uh, $40 a person. All the way through, it's $15 for the Mini Copa Mud Run. And then for the youth ages 12 to 17, uh, you're looking at 20 bucks. And they'll all get the t-shirt and the dog tags and stuff. We have a, a, the, a competitive event uh, where you get a wrestling belt for the first prize for women's and uh, men's. It's pretty cool. And the best part is we have the Mayor's Challenge. So Mayor Price, actually, we, he's been training all year. Uh, I'm his trainer, I've been training him about four to five days a week for this event specifically, and he has a challenge. If you beat him, you get an achievement coin. Uh, and it says Mud Run Marriage Challenge on it. Next year! And, you know, it's about 50 to 60 people will have the opportunity to basically beat the mayor and, and win an achievement coin. And they're limited edition to each year too as well. Prop 415. Look it up, it's good for us.